Harris. And what exactly changes for your job role from last year to this year, other than you can do a little bit more actual coaching and yeah. off campus recruiting? That's, <laughs> you kind of hit it right there. That's kind of the main two things, right? Um, being more involved as a coach to the linebackers and obviously going out on the road recruiting. But um, in terms of our defensive staff chemistry and what we have, we have a lot of continuity. We've um, we worked incredibly well together last year and uh, just really look forward to uh, continue, continuing that build this year um, with Coach Tosh and Coach Hamp and the rest of the defensive staff. When you have that base level understanding of what Jeff and Justin were, were capable of and doing already, where have you seen the green dot aspect enhance their game? Do they make them mentally process faster so far these first eight practices? Like, how do you see that actually helping your room? Yeah, no doubt. Um, yeah, the, the headset communication definitely is uh, a different process for us right now. But uh, the number one must in our room at linebacker is to get our defensive line in adjusted. Uh, these guys have known you know, since I've been involved with them that um, we're the quarterback of the defense. So everything runs through us. So uh, them having Coach Tosh in their ear uh, is an advantage right now, but um, they've always uh, had to echo the calls, had to communicate with the front and the back end. So uh, not too much has changed with that. For you kind of stepping into this role, how much does it help having that continuity of being here last year, working with so many of these guys before? How much does that help you kind of step into what you're doing now? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, consistency. You know, it's consistency in the day to day about how you're going about uh, your business. But um, I also, on top of, uh, you know, this last year, having the experience with Coach Lenning, you know, the, the background that him and I have and my experience with him at Georgia, kind of coming in last year, it was uh, it was very similar to the process that we had at Georgia. So uh, I felt really comfortable and, and it's been it's been a pleasure to uh, keep pushing uh, the defensive staff like we have. Lots of lists have Jeff as one of the top 10 returning linebackers in the country. And whether it's by production or PFF grades or whatever it is, a lot of people can look up numbers. How do you feel, is, where do you feel his ceiling is for this year? And how do you put him in a position to not just showcase that he is one of those guys, but at the top end of that group? Yeah, the, the sky's really the limit with Jeff this year. And, and the, the biggest thing that impresses me about Jeff is his uh, willingness to grow, uh, his growth mindset, um, how he attacks uh, everything that he does, and uh, his knowledge of the game um, is going to allow him to see things this year, um, you know, trigger fast. Uh, you know, we're, we're developing him uh, in a lot of different areas, uh, and he has but he has that right mindset to develop in the areas that he needs to. So you say is that mainly money, Mac, and then also moving over to Jack for pass rush yeah. situation? Yeah, um, yeah. With with our linebacker positions, we have a money, we have a Mac. But how I really see those two positions, we dual train a lot because I don't want uh, the next best money on the field. I want the best next best linebacker on the field. So these guys uh, know both spots. Uh, they know the insides and outsides of what each other are doing and uh, two linebackers playing on the string is really important. So they have to know both spots. Uh, but, you know, Jeff is going to, you know, have some pressure opportunities and I know he's working on his pass rush game. And so we're excited about how we can utilize his skill set in that sense. Where, where is Devin in that process? Like if Jeff is in year four of it, is, is Devin's in entering year three, where is he? Where does he have to uh, address most here in the spring? Yeah, I mean, Devin has his development since I've been here has been unreal. He's developed on and off the field. Um, his mindset has grown uh, so much. Um, his mental knowledge of the game has grown so much. The communication is off the charts right now. Uh, he has unbelievable, um, you know, physical attributes. Uh, he's strong. He's extremely fast. He's the fastest uh, player on our team, actually. Um, and so I'm really excited about how Dev is developing right now. So look forward to you know seeing how this competition plays out and uh, let the cream rise to the top. When, when someone has such natural gifts like he has, sometimes you can just kind of lean on that and not work on the other stuff like you're talking about. How much has that kind of impressed you with just his commitment to being the total player when some of it maybe comes more naturally than other guys? Sure. Yeah, well, you know, it really doesn't matter how fast you run if uh, you're not running in the right direction, yeah. right? So. 
Uh, play speed is about knowledge, and you know he has a, that physical gift of uh, being a, being able to run 23 miles per hour, which is pretty impressive. But um, it's really getting his eyes right, and um, you know teaching him the game um, so that he can utilize all all of that ability in game action. We were at Kamar and Braden so far, just in these like a couple of weeks in, but especially the first scrimmage, just what have you seen from your two freshmen? Yeah, you know, it's a tremendous opportunity for the, both those guys to be here during the spring, get the development that we get in these 15 practices. Um, you know, they were both out there getting those live reps today. Um, so it was great to see them, you know, in that live action and see when the bullets are flying, you know, how they play. Uh, but what I'm encouraging those guys to do right now, you know, they're their confidence is going to come through their knowledge of the scheme, right? So we spent a lot of extra time with those guys, you know, um, meeting meeting with them, making sure that they're clean on all the scheme. But I want them to, when it, it comes into that, uh, you know, practice rep, uh, just we, we have a uh, defensive culture that's off relentless effort. And I want them to play for six seconds, which is the average football play, and get from point A to point B as fast and violently as possible and just try and cut them loose in that sense so they're not freezing in the moment of uh, indecision. You know, they get to uh, feel confident and play free. I know you'll need film to kind of assess fully, but how'd you feel just coming off the field with how your guys performed today? Yeah, um, ebbs and flows, you know, that's that's the game of football, but I, I felt like we did uh, some really positive things. Um, you know, there's always, there's always things to clean up. You know, spring ball is about um, you know, giving these guys the right uh, techniques and the right fundamentals, so it creates the habits uh, in their in their game, and um, and just build those repetitions and build those repetitions so that it comes so naturally uh, for them during the season. And Justin was coming off an injury, coming here, and then unfortunately got banged up a little bit early in the season to where he really had a little less than half the season. What expectations did you have of him once the season ended, and and what are they now where he's having a healthy offseason for the first time in a while? Yeah, um, you know, the injuries happen in football. You know, Justin's had a few in his career, but um, he's attacked it uh, with, you know, the right mindset again um, about, you know, doing what he can and controlling what he can. Uh, but, you know, Justin, the sky's the limit with Justin right now, too. Um, he's, he's in the second year of the system. Uh, his communication has been so much better. He, he knows the insides and outs of, uh, you know, everything going around him. Uh, so, um, and we're working on the technical aspect too, but he's he's developing. These guys are all developing, um, but excited about where, you know, Justin can take it this year.